This is a gummy candy. And this is chocolate. In this video, I'm going to be melting every single gummy I can find to create the ultimate gummy worm. But I'll be going head to head versus Kaylin as she combines every single chocolate she can find to create the ultimate chocolate bar. And in the end, we'll each need to present our creation to be judged based on presentation, smell, and taste. The loser will have to eat the world's spiciest gummy bear and the world's hottest chocolate melted into one. If you thought we were going to take it easy on each other, think again. All right, guys, we are here in the heart of San Diego downtown, and my objective is to collect every single gummy candy created on this planet. And I think I know just the spot. It sugar. You will find the craziest candy of all time, specifically gummy too. Look at all this. Look, right when you walk in, you see the mega gummy bear. You see the strawberry gummy bear. Like this is considered gummy, right? Like it's yeah. it's gummy candy. It's gummy cereal. So we have to get this too. All right, we just pulled up to Walmart and I'm going to buy every single chocolate bar that I can get my hands on. We're definitely going to need a cart because we're going to stock up. So they just put out Easter candy, but first we're going to go to the chocolate aisle and then we'll come back for these ones. What's up, man? How are you? I don't know if anyone's ever done this before. We're gonna buy every single gummy candy in the store. Can you help us out with it? Yeah. Probably gonna end up with like a hundred bags. We have to get this, we have to get this, the popsicle, the gummy bear, the shark, watermelon. And we're gonna cut them into pieces and put them all into one bowl, melt it, and create that ultimate gummy. Gummy shark, I think I'm actually gonna spend at least a thousand dollars here. <laughs> Hot dog, pickle. This is all the gummies. We gotta get everything. As you guys can see, there is so much chocolate, so I'm just gonna clear the shelves off. Espresso chocolate, Ferrero Rocher, yum. We're also gonna grab some Dove chocolate. So our cart is pretty full, but I think we can make it fuller. Yeah, of course, let's do it. Where are you from? Uh, Croatia. No way, that's awesome. Yo, I got supporters all the way from Croatia? This one we have to get. This is iconic. We made it to the Easter aisle. Who doesn't love chocolate bunny? Milk chocolate, peanut butter, caramel, a Reese's bunny, a one pound chocolate bunny, some Hershey's bunnies, some Snickers eggs, some Twix eggs, some Kit Kats. I think we got almost one of each, if not more, of the candy here. Let's go check out and go to our next store. 390.78 is our total. We're leaving Walmart on to the next place. Wait, a gummy burrito, bro. What don't they have gummy? So I want to play a game. Whoever gets closest between me, you, and him, if you get closest, I'll give you $100. If Noah gets closest, I'll give him 100 bucks. If I get closest, I'm just happy that I got the closest. I don't win anything. My guess is 475. That's it. I'll pick around 350. 290. The moment of truth. 308. Noah, you won. I want to donate mine. Hey, let's go. W Noah, W Noah. Thank you so much for the help. No problem. Don't thank, thank me. You. Thank Noah. Store number one complete, but we ain't stopping there. We are going to hit 7-Eleven because I feel like they also have some unique gummies and they also have... As I was saying, I feel like 7-Eleven has 7-Eleven branded gummy candy that we got to add to the mixture. Okay, we're at our second store, World Market, and I feel like they're going to have a lot of unique chocolate here, so let's grab what we can. All right, we made it inside World Market. They do have some crazy unique stuff, like this exclusive Japanese Kit Kat sampler. Whoop! Dark mint chocolate. Throw it in there. Caramel, cherry cream, raspberry. We'll get these. We'll get this. We'll get these assorted ones. These are from Belgium. Hot chocolate. So we'll just get a couple of these as well. 7-Eleven. So we came to this 7-Eleven in specific because they actually got some lit stuff. They got some exotic chips right here. Like, look at this. Italian red meat Lay's. I also do have to say, I got this idea from Hang Time. He's been killing it lately. So thank you for the idea, bro. These are fire. I'm so glad I found this. Twizzlers gummies. And so I'm trying to get every gummy candy that I can find. Like, did you see the new unicorn ones they had? No. Unicorn delicious. You also have these. Like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the help. They have some crazy good ones down here. A chicken and waffle one, a cookie dough, pretzel and peanut butter, birthday cake. All right, we're going to go check out and see what our damage is because I feel like this is going to be a little expensive. Our total was 261 something. Let's head back home and start melting these down because I already know my team, me, my team is going to win. <laughs> I 
I am finally face to face with my competition right here. So we're about to take out all of our food from the packaging and we're gonna cut them into small pieces and combine them all into one bowl to make our final concoction. Woo! I'm excited. Me too. I'm gonna start with this gummy watermelon. And I'm gonna start with this milk. Liquid. You're kind of crossing the line. If you can just stay on the chocolate side, I would appreciate it. Listen, I have a lot more to work with. You have a lot of space that I need to use. Thank you so much. Hold on, this is actually hard. Like it's rough, like look at this. It's crazy to know that all this is just gonna be combined into one small gummy. That is so sick. I think as we're unboxing this, we start cutting them up and putting them into our bowls. I think that's perfect. So I do wanna point something out. It might look like Kaylin has a lot more chocolate than me, but I have this giant bag of gummies where I took one of every single gummy. So this probably has like 80 to 100 different types of gummies, but I just put them all into one bag. Like, why is it this hard to cut a gummy? I think this is about the size that I'm gonna be cutting all of my gummies into to add to the bowl. One out of like 200. Okay, there's one that I actually wanna try. It's Haribo Unicorn Alicious. Look at this. Cheers. That's pretty good. We're putting one of every flavor in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two noodles going in. Ready to see how much there is in here? I'm ready. There are 82 gummies. I literally guessed that there was 80 in the bag, so I was spot on. That's an additional 82 in the pot, excluding all this. Well, congratulations. Are y'all ready for this? We got the Atomic Ghost Chili Dark Chocolate. This is after adding all the gummies from my bag. We got a lot in there, but we still got a lot more to go. Skittles Squishy Clouds. I wonder if these are gummies. I think someone told me they were. Ooh. Okay, they are gummies. Wait, that looks crazy. So we're gonna add each one in there because they're all different. If you know me, you know I love churros. I would say the best churros are from Disneyland. Of course. Ooh. Get some Twizzler gummies. So I guess the real Twizzlers aren't gummies, but they actually made Twizzler gummies. I didn't know that. That is so good. Good. Got all three flavors from here. I like your cut, G. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> all that for this. We're throwing all of this into the pot. So guys, this pickle gummy says real pickle taste. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, no. Oh, the after. Decent slice. Yeah, this is making me lose 100%. We are down to our final pieces. And I saved the peace sign for last because it's all about peace and love in the world. Get a little bit of everything. It's so hard. Okay, we got all of our treats chopped up and it is time for the melting process. I'm excited because after we melt all the treats together, we got our very own molds. So Kaylin is gonna pour hers and create the ultimate chocolate. And I'm gonna pour mine into a gummy worm mold and create the ultimate gummy. All right, let's get to melting. Let's go. Wait, first. Dude, dude, what the heck? We're gonna do a little challenge. Is that Feastables? And the loser might have a little disadvantage where they have to add something kind of bad to their bowl. There's always something, huh? All right, can you take us to the challenge? Come on over. All right. Here we have a wall full of balloons, all different shapes, sizes, colors. It's like patterns. a galaxy. I'm not done. Thank you. So they all look very colorful and vibrant. But Looks like I, uh, again, you're, uh, you're annoying me. Do not talk over me again. Okay, okay I'm problem. sorry. They're all safe, except for one. You do not want to hit the one that has red confetti. If you do, you will automatically get the punishment. For example, let's just get rid of one already. Go for it, Kaylin. Oh, oh, no confetti. All right, yes. How about we make it if you hit one, you get to go again. You're safe. Oh! That wasn't fair! Collateral! 
what you gotta add. So I actually have a very important message from an OG on YouTube. I don't know who that is. You don't know who that is? That's crazy. I don't. You lost the challenge. So you're going to have to add the world's hottest chocolate peanut butter cup into your bowl. And I hope you're okay because it's about to rain chocolate. <laughs> what the? Where was it? Hey, look at the package. Dude, landmine. Wow. Giant peanut butter cup. You better hope the judges like spice. Well, good thing I don't have to eat it, right? Unless you lose the actual challenge. Because don't forget, the loser has to combine the world's spiciest gummy bear with the world's spiciest peanut butter cup and take a bite. Mm. Ooh, it's time for the melting process. I'm hyped. Let's go. All right, so how we're going to melt these is we have a pot with boiling hot water, and we are just going to place this on top and watch it slowly melt while we mix it and just monitor it, just so it doesn't burn. But Kaylin, you already know what you you gotta add to yours. There we go. I do wonder though, with all that chocolate, are you even gonna taste that? Who knows? Let's get it in the bowl. By the way, guys, we're using Pyrex glass, which is the safest way to do this, but I also don't recommend you guys try this at home. I feel like my chocolate's gonna melt very soon. All right, quick little update. Kaylin's chocolate is melting 10 times faster than mine. Yes, As you sure. can see, my gummies are all still there. You could see they're slowly starting to melt. I feel like this might actually take an hour or two. Oh yeah, look at that. And just needs to get so much hotter. All right, we'll keep you guys updated. Since it's taking so long on the stove, we're gonna try microwaving it. We're getting to a good state, but we're gonna take it little by little. All right, yeah, it's looking good. Hold up. Oh, look at that. Dude, the microwave's actually working a lot better. Look at that. Mm-hmm. All right, mine is pretty much melted. All of these little chunks are the cookies, the nuts, the pomegranates, everything that's in it. So I'm ready to put it into my mold. But that looks trash. Okay, it's not about what's on the outside, Noah. I think it really came together. I just need to clean up the edges really quick. It's all about the taste, bro. Like, let me try to think of a food that looks bad, but it actually tastes good. It's looking like my gummy is complete. The color is atrocious. Time to pour it in the mold. Okay. So yeah, guys, the only one that I struggled melting was the noodles. What is this, bro? I think that's as good as we're gonna get it. Well, since we have three judges, we only need three of them to come out perfect. Okay. We're gonna pop them in the fridge so it could speed this process up and then it's time for the judging. Hey, right now, leave in the comment section down below who you think is gonna win just from seeing this. Okay. Kaylin's is in and now we wait. I think it's time to see our creations. I'm so excited. All right, let's go, let's go. Whoa. Kaylin, yours looks like a crunch bar. Looks like a real chocolate bar. Mine doesn't look good at all. Yours looks like throw up. Okay, it does. The judges are not gonna like the look of this one. But it looks great. It looks good. Okay, this might not look pretty, but just wait until it's out of the mold. Okay, here we go. It's still so sticky, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm not winning on the presentation side. All right, we're gonna try to just go crazy here. Oh, hold on, wait, okay. actually, actually. There you go. There we go. Oh! Okay, this I'm already happy about. It's starting to look good. Okay. Go. Dude, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's literally super glue. We're gonna take this off and present the judges with this, and it's just gonna be a free-for-all, however they wanna eat it, however they wanna rip it, as long as they get a taste. No. All right, all right, all right. Dude, this is so sticky, it's actually like super glue. Uh -huh. Like it actually just tastes like a regular gummy worm. All right, before the judging, we are gonna create the loser's punishment. The world's spiciest gummy bear mixed with the world's spiciest peanut butter cup. We're gonna start with the gummy bear. This is terrifying. There it is. That's a lot. Okay, definitely not that much. And right, what do you think about this? Ah, that's scary. I was about to lick my fingers because I thought it was a Reese's peanut butter cup. 
feel like it's always me doing the punishment. I mean, I hope it's you doing the punishment, but I have a feeling it's gonna be me. Oh, look at it. Let's mix it up. All right, we're gonna throw this. I think that should be good. All right, we're gonna throw this in the fridge, let it mold while we present our creations to the judges. Let's do it. Best of luck. Perfect. Judges, Kaylin and I spent all day creating one gummy out of 130 gummies. And Kaylin, how much chocolate did you use? 135. All into one, guys. What are you guys craving first? I personally love chocolate. Well, let's start off with chocolate then. Kaylin, take the lead. I will allow you guys to break off your own chocolate because Ooh, I don't want to touch your guys' chocolate. I will say it's really fudgy and easy to break off. That looks good. Thank you so, so I'm much. I'm take two pieces. Oh, okay, go for it, sir. Here you go, sir. Sorry. Is that my Rico wig? No, this is my hair. All right, whenever you guys are ready, go for it. Well, should we talk a little bit about presentation? Because I yeah. really like how clean this is. <laughs> oh, they're going for We're it. We're not waiting. Is there pepper in here? That's spicy. It's the peanut butter cup. So she added the world's spiciest peanut butter cup to that concoction. Spicy? A little, it's a little spicy. A uh, little? It doesn't look like it. It actually <laughs> tastes good. I like the taste. <laughs> it has a little spice in it. Thank you. I can assure you there won't be any spice with mine. <laughs> little spicy cake, but kind of balanced by like a good saltiness, maybe like pretzels. Or... You guys ready for the gummy? Uh -oh. Yeah. Honestly, like you need to clear your palate. I feel like going straight from chocolate to gummy won't be good. You guys want water? Let me get some water. Yes. I'm scared. Okay. Don't be scared. I saw a sneak peek. This is my ultimate gummy worm. So it's a little sticky. Um, just grab a piece if you may. Okay, that looks good actually. It's literally the worms that you find after it rains. There you go. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> okay, I got one. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. There you go. There you go. Look, he's wrapping it around his finger. Okay, good luck taking it off. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You're gonna cut off your circulation. <laughs> Talk about presentation, guys. There's nothing to talk about. Let's go, what are, you, what are we doing? Horrendous. It's not bad. The fact that it's on my finger, I give it a plus because my finger presents very well, but as for the worm. <laughs> it's gonna get stuck in their teeth for sure. Mm. Oh my gosh, I got three mmms at the same time. Okay. It tastes like nerds. It tastes very good. Do you guys have your answers ready? I do. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of struggling here because flavor-wise was good. Presentation-wise, horrible. Very horrible. We're gonna start here with Chanel. You're gonna give us the name of the person who had the better creation. I think I'll have to go with Brian. Yes! <laughs> Clint, we'll go with you. We're gonna go Chanel, Clint, and Papa Rug for the final decision, unless Clint picks me. You put me in a, quite a predicament. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to take my hair out for this. Oh no, we're getting Clint Clint back. Okay. But I still got my construction hat because this is some hard work. Hey! Okay. And this is tough because I want Papa Rock to voice his opinion. Okay. But I think I'm going to close it out right here. Brian. Yes! Yes! Wait, you didn't let me finish. Brian, you had a great tasting flavor, but I'm going to go with Kaylin because. Yours was good. It was sweet. It tastes like ice cream, but hers was chocolate and it tasted like chocolate. Start with Kaylin. The chocolate was super, super good. I'm not a chocolate person. Mm -hmm. This chocolate was good. The gummy, it's a little bit low, but the taste was perfect. As you see, I ate the whole thing. So I'm going to go with Brian. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we got one judge that loves chocolate. We got one judge that loves gummies, and we got one judge that loves chocolate okay, and gummies. Okay. We made sure that the judging was 100% fair. It is what it is, Kaylin. I took the L, it's fine. You know what she has to do, right? I feel so bad. Yeah. Like, usually I take the punishments for others because I feel bad. I don't know if it's gonna happen tonight. <laughs> the good thing is, it doesn't look spicy. Okay. Kaylin, I'll take a little bite with you too. You know I have to, you know I have to. My stomach already hurts. We were eating chocolate and gummies all day. Like, I don't want to look at any of that for the rest of my life. Me too, I'm done. All right, that's your piece. I hope if I just eat a little bit of this, it won't be as bad, but cheers. cheers. Wait. Brian. Okay, I swallowed it. 
Okay, to, to the milk, to the milk, to the milk, to the milk. Go, 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 go. All right, guys, I know you don't want to see this. Make sure you drop a like. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you all in the next video. Please, out, guys.